Hey there, Alex here. This is the defunct True Mute, and you can probably sort of guess from the name that it's a pair of True Wireless earbuds with ANC, Active Noise Cancellation. But before we get to that, let's quickly talk about the rest of the earbuds. First of all, when it comes to the case, the True Mute actually looks pretty decent. The case feels well built, it's relatively compact, it charges via USB-C, and it starts the pairing process once the lid opens, just that there is no wireless charging. The earbuds don't have a super tight seal, but they are comfortable and secure enough. They are IPX4 rated as well, but personally, I wouldn't use them for jogging because I find that it's easy to accidentally bump into these when I'm wiping away my sweat, and it gets quite annoying. But if you don't sweat as much as I do, it's probably fine. They have a comprehensive set of touch controls which is nice, but it is quite easy to accidentally trigger them while trying to adjust the earbuds. Anyway, the most important control to take note of here is the ANC feature. All you need to do is hold the right earbud for 3 seconds. This will cycle the earbuds between ANC, transparency, and normal mode. The ANC here is rated at 25 dB, which isn't the highest around, and because it doesn't have a super tight seal to begin with, there is only so much it can do. It is able to slightly reduce constant low frequency noises like engines and whatnot, but it doesn't do well against higher frequency noises, sudden noises, or voices. When ANC is on, the tuning seems to get a tiny bit warmer sounding, but it doesn't affect the sound quality too much. Transparency mode works well enough to me, just that it seems to amplify the surrounding noises quite a bit, which sounds a bit unnatural. Voices can sound a little teeny, and it doesn't handle wind noises quite as well. In terms of connectivity, it's using Bluetooth 5.0 and connection seems pretty stable in my time with it so far. I can use either one of the earbuds in mono mode, but there is a slight delay when switching between them. It supports AAC codec, but there isn't any low latency mode, so there is a noticeable delay when gaming. No issues with watching videos on YouTube or whatnot. Call quality is decent and it picks up my voice quite well since the mic is closer to my mouth, but it will still struggle in a noisy environment like most TWS earbuds that I've tried. I was able to get around 7 hours of playback per charge, and with ANC on, it should be a bit lower than that. The case provides around 3 extra charges, so overall battery life is pretty good. The TrueMute has a V-shaped sound signature with boosted bass and treble. Bass is boosted mostly in the mid-bass region. While it has a decent punch, it's not the tightest and can sound a little bloated to me. The mids sounds a bit unnatural and boxy, especially with the elevated but a bit thin sounding upper mids. It can also sound a bit recessed, especially at lower volumes. Trouble can be a bit tinny sounding, but is overall quite polite. Sound stitch is not too bad, but I just find the tonality and timbre a bit off. That said, while I'm not a fan of how it sounds, my sister who is just an average consumer actually thinks it sounds okay when I let her try it, so I guess it depends on how particular you are. Overall, at the original asking price of around 150 Singapore dollars, I think it's a little tough to swallow, especially since it doesn't really stand out in terms of ANC capabilities or feature set. However, I do think the design looks nice, battery life is pretty good, and call quality is not too bad as well. Just that I would highly recommend waiting for this count if you are thinking about picking one up. Thanks for watching this video and see you guys on the next one.